Hey guys, my name is Samuel and you're watching TechnoRite. What's going on guys, welcome to Technora where technology is done right. So today we will be doing a hands on review and a full setup guide on the Turing 3.5 inch screen. So this is a screen designed specifically for monitoring temps and resource usage inside of your computer. It is meant to be placed either inside of your PC or even on your desk with the included stand. Unboxing experience was very straightforward. As upon opening it, we have a couple of stickers, the USB-A to USB-C cable and the screen itself. The screen is quite thin and the dimensions of it is 8cm uh, by 5cm. Quite small but the data can still be viewed easily. The screen only uses a single cable so it can only be configured by the application and cannot be used as a secondary screen if you plan to do so. The screen also has a USB-C connector on both sides based on the orientation that you're going for. Installation inside my PC is very simple. I used a 3M extra strong adhesive and stuck it to the back of my PC. Then connected the USB-C and routed through the PCIe slot and connected to the back of my PC. Now we'll move on to the software setup. Hey guys, so let's uh, focus on the software part of things. So what you're going to do is once you connected your screen, you're going to open your browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. You're going to open a new tab and you're going to type in turzx.com. So, so, uh, this link will be in the description below, so you don't have to worry. Okay guys, so once the page is loaded, it's usually in Chinese. But if you have this uh, Google Translate add-on, <clears throat> as I have in Chrome, you can just click on English and it will change everything to English, okay? So once you go there, you're going to click on this button here. It says download, download. I'm not sure why it says two times. Okay, as you can see here, then you go to scroll down and you can see here it says 3.5 inch app English version. So we're going to download this one because our screen is a 3.5 inch screen. So we're going to click on this. And then click on a, you won't have this thing so just okay so this is the file you're going to extract this file to a specified folder okay guys so uh, there's no installation you're just going to open the file that you downloaded and you can see here something you called USB monitor you're going to right click on this let me end it first I'm using it currently Okay, so you're going to right click on this and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. And it will read the hardware information, the hardware you have, the temps and everything. And you can see here, this is the screen that I'm currently using. But we have a lot of themes guys. Okay, so you won't have all of this 320 by 480 until, uh, until here. You won't have this, but you will have the cyberpunk and gradient and i'll teach you on how to get uh, more themes like this guys but the pre-installed themes are quite cool and i myself am using a pre-installed team which if i'm not mistaken is the magic blue yep so this is mine this is my team so um in all you can even flip the screen uh based on your orientation of the uh monitor inside your pc and then here in user define, based on uh, different themes, you'll have different number of user defined. This is where you can enter your CPU information, your GPU information and all that. Okay, so you can edit everything here. You can set the brightness of the screen. You can change the color and everything. So once that is done, you're going to open normal setting. Okay, and here, make sure that auto start is checked, guys. Make sure auto start is checked. And your net card, you can choose the uh, your Ethernet and you can choose your graphics here and everything. And just click on save and close. So uh, what the auto start function does is you don't have to open the application every time. Once your PC boots, your screen will turn on by itself. Pretty much that's the whole software guys. It's a very simple UI you can use to customize a lot of it. Okay guys, so now I'm going to teach you on how to get um, custom themes. 
okay so we're gonna close out of this and go into the link in the description below i have this link in the description so you can see it says theme.rar and inside the config folder we have tons tons and tons of themes so you're just going to download this okay okay guys so once downloaded you'll have uh in winrar you have this uh, config folder and everything in here so um you're going to go into the folder that you downloaded the 3.5 inch english uh, folder and then you're going to click into config and you're going to copy all of these files like every one of it except this and then just move it into this uh folder here so i've already done everything so i'm just going to skip it so i've already done and you've pasted everything so once you've pasted it you're just going to exit the application and reopen it again there you go guys so once uh it's open you can see all of your extra themes are all here it looks really cool we have a lot of themes okay guys so that's all for this video if you have any other questions please do leave them in the comments below and if you want me to review anything else do let me know in the comments i'll try to get my hands on it and do a review about it so please rate comment and subscribe and i'm out